The Last Chance You series has been one of the most successful sports documentary shows on Netflix. I'm a huge fan of the Last Chance You basketball series, and here's the latest update on the top players from season one and two. Starting with the basketball players from season one for the Huskies. Let's start with KJ Allen. He was the most talented player in the Huskies during the first season of the show. As a freshman, he averaged 18.5 points per game and 9.3 rebounds during the 2019-2020 season. After his freshman year, he got the most D1 offers on the team and from the biggest colleges. Initially, he committed to play at USC after the season ended, but changed his mind and decided to play at Texas Tech. In his first season with Texas Tech, he played in 19 games and averaged 1.9 points per game and 1.8 rebounds. In the current 2022-2023 season, after nine games, KJ is currently averaging two points a game and playing in about 10 minutes per game. Interested to see if KJ is able to make the leap with Texas Tech this year. Next, we have Joe Hampton. If you remember, Joe was initially a four-star recruit coming out of high school and initially went to Penn State before getting injured. After playing at ELAC, he transferred to Long Beach State. In his final season at Long Beach State, Hampton averaged 9.1 points and 3.7 rebounds per game. After graduating, he's currently playing in Colombia for Piratas de Bogota and is doing really well. Deshaun Hyler was another star of the first season of Last Chance U, and after the season concluded, he transferred to Sacramento State. In his senior year at Sacramento State, he averaged 4.5 points and 2.1 rebounds per game. He initially entered the transfer portal after the season and had eligibility as a grad student, but decided to start his professional career overseas. Like Hampton, he's also playing in Colombia. He currently plays for Cimarrones del Choco. Malik Mohamed split his time with Joe Hampton playing center in the first season of Last Chance U. Initially, Malik transferred to Central Michigan, and in his first season with them, he averaged 5.5 points and 5.8 rebounds per game. And he led Central Michigan that season in block shots. While his time at CMU was relatively successful, after the first season with Central Michigan, he thought it would be better to play somewhere else and decided to enter the transfer portal. He ended up joining the team at Southern Utah University. This ended up being a really bad move for Malik as he didn't do well his senior year with SUU. He got limited playing time and only averaged 0.7 points, 1.5 rebounds, and 0.4 blocks per game. He ended up entering the transfer portal again and is currently playing for Camp Bellsville, which is a D2 college. He's doing much better there and after 12 games in the current season, he's averaging 9.7 points a game. Moving on to Season 2, we'll start with Brian Penn Johnson. If you remember, Brian started his career playing at the University of Washington, but felt he wasn't getting enough playing time, so he transferred to LSU. He had issues with his grades at LSU, so wasn't academically eligible to play basketball, so then he transferred to ELAC. He was the best player on the team in the Season 2 of the show. After the season ended, he wanted to stay on the West Coast, so he ended up transferring to Cal Poly, and after 9 games in the 2022-2023 season, he's currently averaging 3.1 points per game. Next, we have Desmond Washington, who returned from Season 1 of Last Chance U. Coach Mosley put pressure on Washington throughout the second season to become a leader of the team. At the end of the season, Washington really wanted to stay in California, to stay close with his kids, but he ended up transferring to UMN Crookston, which is a D2 school in Minnesota. Currently this season, after nine games, he's doing well and he's averaging almost 10 points per game. DC was a three-star recruit coming out of high school and played his freshman year at the University of Illinois, Chicago. 
He wanted to live up to his dad's legacy as his dad won a national championship with the University of Michigan and played in the NBA with the Lakers. DC only ended up playing two games his freshman year at UIC. Due to the lack of playing time his freshman year, he transferred to ELAC. In his first season with ELAC, he averaged five points per game. He returned to the Huskies for a second season and hopes to make that big leap this year and get back to a big D1 program. So far, after five games in the current season, he's averaging 3.2 points a game. Next, we have Shamar Morrow, who had one of the most interesting stories as part of Last Chance U Season 2. While in middle school, he was once considered one of the best basketball players in the country. In sixth grade, he was already dunking in games and scouts couldn't believe his talent at such a young age. In one of his games in the sixth grade, he dropped 53 points, which is absolutely incredible. He ended up getting invited and participated in the 2016 USA Basketball Men's Junior National Team. And the future was looking really bright for him. But in high school, he had issues with keeping up with his grades, which led to him not even being recruited, even though he averaged 19 points per game his senior year. He ended up not graduating from high school and during the second season of Last Chance U, you see him working towards getting his GED. In his first season with the Huskies, he played in 22 games and he averaged 4 points a game. Like DC, Shamar also returned to the Huskies for another season. Let me know in the comment section who's your favorite players from Season 1 and Season 2 of Last Chance U, and if you have any new updates on anyone.